り楽しいですね戦いというのは。Alright, what is going on, guys? f a v o l s back again, coming at you with the Arena Summons Recovery Momo Banner. Now, we do have Spirits Off Forever with you. Round 5 news, sort of? <laughs> I'll get into that in just a bit. But as you see here, Momo. And、uh, yeah, I, I do think that she's actually going to be a really good character. And I'll get into that. In,、uh, I'll get into all the whys, here's, buts, and whens. Shout out to my boy,、uh, he can, for quickly messaging me back. This is the third time I'm re recording this video. The third time. This is the second time I'm re recording the video. My third time recording this video because I want to make sure that the information that I'm putting out is 100% accurate. Now, Momo, as well as 835 Spiritual Pressure, she's going to be a frenzy based character. Killer, a r o n k a r and she's obviously going to be a Soul Reaper. So, Heart Soul Reaper with an a r o n k a r killer. For her innate skills, we do actually have Medic as well as Guard Break as well as Read a r o n k a r Dodges. So, keep that in mind. Spiritual Pressure 835, Focus 359, a bit on the high side, which is good. Soul Trait, Strong Attack Recharge minus 12%. Skills, she actually they did cut out Bruiser, which is good. I'm glad that they did that.、Um, when they did that for Ninny, I was actually pretty happy because I personally think that Bruiser is a wasted skill. So, if they can come out with a skill that an SP based character can make use of, it's good. Damage inflicted at full stand plus 20%. No Berserker, so keep that in mind. Debilitator plus two seconds. Devastation 40%. Frenzy plus one. Havoc plus 20%. Mind Droplet drop plus 30%. Multi Barrier plus two. She is a healer and a multi Barrier plus. Two unit as well as poise and sprinter plus one. Now, the things to note really is that one, she's given damage inflicted at full stand plus 20%, so she's going to be hitting harder with her normal attack damage string as well as her strong attacks. Debilitator plus two seconds for her burn on her first, third special move as well as her normal attack damage string. Devastation plus 40%, Frenzy plus one, Havoc 20%, which is good. Mind and Droplet drop plus 30%, meaning that she's going to get a lot more value just because she will actually have a use. Keep in mind, she is a premium pool unit, so summoning on the banner might not necessarily be the way to go. But she is a multi barrier plus two unit, and the first, no, the second multi barrier plus two unit for、um, the premium pool, the other one being Giriko, and she is the first premium pool healer and multi barrier plus two unit.、Uh, the other one being, well, the other、uh, seasonal one being Christmas、uh, or Hime. She also has poise, which is going to be really good for farming as well, with her sprinter plus one. And like I said, she does have medic and guard break built into the character just from her innate skills alone. Now,、um, I was a bit, we'll, we'll get into this in a bit.、Uh, as you see here, this is going to be the gameplay. Let's just get right into it. Ah,、uh, dude, Spurs are forever with you. I'm actually super excited.、Um, I, 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 we'll, we'll wait, go ahead. <laughs> The character in this summons is going to be Momo.、Um, he's pretty much just going to go into the character, the innate skills, hard attribute with a wrong car killer, burn on her special move, strong attack cooldown for her、uh, soul trait, medic, read a wrong car dodge, as well as guard break. We already went over her skills. She looks so basic in her little sprite there.、Um, ah, for it, right. So, for Arena in particular,、uh, for those that actually like plan to use the Arena based characters for Arena, she does learn Start Power Up Item plus two, which is really good, as well as Frenzy plus one, which means she has, she has Frenzy plus two in Arena. Only in Arena. <laughs>、uh, she also gains Long Stride, which is pretty good. Yeah, starting off the match with the, two, the start of power up、uh, item plus two, that is super, super strong, especially now that Arena is only two minutes long. Uh, that's actually a massive advantage, too. I actually think it's unfair, <laughs> personally. So, burn on everything except for the second strong attack, which is a heal slash barrier. Now, going into her actual strong attacks. At first glance, I thought that this third strong attack would be、um, the same as fifth anniversary Byakuya's. I do believe it is still the same. But the second strong attack actually caught me way off guard. Just based on.、Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it in a, in a second. Alright, so. Standard normal attack damage string, a bit range collision on it. 
Now, first strong attack, I wasn't familiar with what this was. I, I originally thought it was the 1200 by 1200, but I did talk to Heekin and he actually showed me this picture. He's like, he's like, oh yeah, you can actually see the hit markers on this one and you can see that it's a 2500 length beam. And this is actually quite interesting to see just the hit, uh, how the hits on this strong attack are actually like laid out too, right? And uh, yeah, so 2500 length beam, this will go up to 3000 thanks to the Havoc 20%. Boom. Now, second strong attack. Now, this one was interesting to me because based on the animation, it looks like it's going to be the Vortex. It looks like Bankai Shuhei's second strong attack. However, uh, he can actually brought up a good point. He's like, you actually don't see this attack deal damage until after the animation. You see that? And then the actual blast comes down from the actual heal uh, barrier attack. So this is actually going to be a 960 AOE radius second strong attack. So 25, like so 3k length beam, 960 second strong attack with a bit of a delay for it to come out. I don't like the delay, but I mean it is what it is. Now this is going to be the same as 5th anniversary Biakia's uh, third strong attack, I believe, which is going to be the vacuum into explosion. Not bad for crowd control, I personally like this uh, third strong attack. Not as much as a regular 1200, but I do like it in general. I kind of wish that they did a little more with her special. Like if you notice, it looks cool. She literally just goes Psh, and then it's just AoE, AoE, and then nothing. Like I like there's no explosion, there's no like her up in your face and stuff like that. I feel I don't know. I feel like they could have did a little bit better. I'm not saying that I could have done. I'm not saying that I could do better myself. My mine would come out looking like a stick figure trying to take a dump. But um yeah, that's pretty much Arena Momo in a nutshell. Um. That's that. That's the hit marker. So, like I said, shout out to the boy Heken and uh, Soldex for putting together all this information for us. And uh, yeah, so Spirits are forever with you news. Now we actually did get access to this picture. Now I started looking in, and I'm pretty sure that I was pretty sure that this was Picaro. I looked it up. You see this little girl over here on the left side. But that's not the actual news that I actually want to talk about. The actual news that I want to talk about is actually this girl. Now this girl. I was 90% sure that this was for Spirits Are Forever With You, and I'm just like, I'm like, who could this possibly be? Because Roka looks like, Roka looks like Roka. Like, like she, she looked kind of whack, low key. Like, if I click here, and then I just type in Roka, Paramia, um, click, 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 and you click on the images, and you see, like, all of them are pretty much, like, just mad basic. Unless it's, like, a fan art. Yeah, the, the fan arts make her actually look bad, but, like, like, she looking bad <laughs> right but um for the most part uh i was just like i was like okay it's like, and I was like, it's like can that be her i don't know um but either way what i did was if you zoom in really really close you can actually see that you have the hand covering her scarf and you can actually see a bit of her arankar mask so this is going to be roka and she is looking bad she is looking good so we'll see exactly what goes down spirits are forever with you round five could very well be on the horizon now my only real concern when it comes to this banner if she's on the next spirits are forever with you banner i'm scared that she's going to be a mid-month banner mid-month um banners tend to be relatively mid um we've seen that i believe was it with nell uh, let me see camp for your own world here i believe it was this yeah february 16th 2020 none of these characters none of these characters got havoc which was so actually wait did this kisuke get havoc i could have swore that he no he didn't get havoc right yeah none of these characters got havoc which was a really 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 bad sign just because these characters ended up now not selling as well as they could have if they had havoc honestly these characters would probably still be completely like I feel like people would definitely be hunting for them, trying to get them five out of five. But because of the fact because of the fact that they didn't get havoc, I feel like they ended up just getting kind of like left to the wayside. Like this Nell would have actually been really freaking good. Like Berserker, forty percent frenzy, guard break, strong attack, recharge, soul reaper killer. Like this character would have actually made waves back when she originally came out. And her first strong attack was the uh, forty percent magnification for a strong attack, which would have been really good for content like uh, IT when she like 
when IT first came out, like that could have been really good. But uh, I like them not getting havoc really hurt them. So if this ba if she comes out on a banner for mid month, I'm really gonna be concerned about her not being as good as she could be. Um, but that that's pretty much it. it could, they they could do Valentine's Day mid month. I know that we have Lunar New Year, uh, Rookie and Rangiku, but they could theoretically do. Uh, Valentine's Day for mid month, and then do Spirit Star Forever with you for end of the month, and then do White Day for mid month for March. And that could be really cool. That could be a very, very good way to set everything up. If they start doing Havoc to the mid month characters, like they did with, uh, no, they, they, they didn't do Renji. I'm like 99% sure that they didn't do it for Renji, which sucks. Dude, Renji could have been so good. It, if, if Renji got Havoc 20%, this character would be so freaking nice he's still good but like he's not as good as he could be but if they start doing havoc to mid-month banners i feel like this banner could definitely be really 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 good for mid-month definitely get people to spend money i'm not sure if we're going to be getting a tab joy 50 percent bonus soon that's usually what i end up waiting for when it comes to spending money on bbs but we'll see how that goes but i believe that is just grind i'll catch up and stay blessed let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this roca i think she looks so good i'm not gonna lie uh, i'm not saying that i'm gonna simp because the last time i thought i was gonna simp aura came out and we all know what happened to aura